In this lesson, we will learn how to build a web server or web page on Raspberry Pi. And then through this web page, we will control devices connected to Raspberry Pi from internet browser. In short, we will learn about web server. So let's get some basics right first. A web server is a program that uses HTTP, which is an hypertext transfer protocol. This protocol is used to serve the file from web pages to the user. Now in our case, if we run a web server program on Raspberry Pi, then we can access that web server from any browser in a local network. The process is an example of a typical client and server model. You may be aware of it. If not, then that's okay. You will going to learn in a coming lesson. Here is a list of web servers which are popular in the market. Flask is very popular framework which is popular among the Python user. Apache is very popular across the PHP developer and Node.js is preferred by a JavaScript developer. Now the list of web servers and alternatives, I mean there are plenty of web server implementations in the market. But we will going to use a flask. Now the question is why we have chosen a flask as a web server for us. Flask is a micro web framework which is written in a Python and it has a great advantages because thanks to its small size and great capabilities. Flask is a great tool for creating a simple website. And even in fact, from the beginning of this series of this Raspberry Pi learning series, I decided to make this entire learning experience to be into the Python only because changing the scripting languages will not really help us learn Raspberry Pi precisely. So I decided to stick to one language, one scripting language and finish this entire learning experience. So you will get the most out of this course. Now to install a flask we have to make sure that we have a pip installed on our Raspberry Pi. So we will first install all the necessary packages uh, that we need in order to create a flask web server and run a flask web server on Raspberry Pi 3. So let's run a command to install a pip sudo apt-get install Python 3 because we will be using a Python so Python 3 hyphen pip so this will install a latest pip uh, on our Raspberry Pi 3 so as you see I already have the newest version so I don't need to wait anymore and I already have the latest pip installed on my Raspberry Pi now once you have the pip installed on your Raspberry Pi we can now able to install a flask on our Raspberry Pi so run a command sudo pip3 install flask by running this command we will going to install a latest version of flask on our Raspberry Pi 3 so it might take a couple of minutes for you and then you will see that you will get a flask installed on your Raspberry Pi in my case I already have it so it made it quick now let me check uh, what version of flask I have installed so I will type flask on my terminal and then minus minus version so this will show me the version of flask that I am using on my Raspberry Pi so I have a flask 0.12.1 and I have a Python 3.5.3 right so it all looks good so I can run a clear command and you can see right now I'm into the home directory if I run ls command you can see I have a desktop document and all other directories so what I'm gonna do is to create or run a web server on Raspberry Pi I can create a fresh new Python file so I will type sudo nano my web server server.py okay and in this fresh new file I will going to write a program which will make a Raspberry Pi as a web server flask web server to, to run okay so the first thing first we have to add a flask module so we'll say from flask we have to add a flask module and then we'll say import flask okay then we will create an object of flask where we will say app so name underscore so this is our flask object and then we have to say at app dot route so we have to create route which is a decorator and then we have to link it to our root 
right so whenever somebody calls to this web server means a raspberry pi when when a client request to our raspberry pi i mean the web server it would have been presented this function right so we can say deft hello and whatever we write inside of this hello will be given will be presented to that client and in this case i will throw a text here I am web server okay and then we have to write if name is equal equals to then we have to say like when somebody requests then we have to run this app right and for that we have to say main okay and then what to be run then we should run app dot run and this will be running on the host and our host is equals to in a double code 0 0.0 0 0.0 okay and then we have to define the port so our web server this raspberry pi uh, will be running on uh, listening to the port 80 and then we say debug is equals to true because we also want to see uh, if there are any error messages in between so once uh, this is done then you are ready to run the script the one thing that we have to give is after this um, main underscore underscore main we have to give a colon don't forget this uh, otherwise you will see the error message right so let me save this file by holding control and press o hit enter to save these changes and then hold control and press x to come out of this file and now when i run ls command i can see my web server.py file is there so i will type sudo because we have to have a super user permission and then i will say python 3 because i will be using a python 3 and then my web server.py the name of the python file that we want to run and when i hit enter you will see it will run a web server on my raspberry pi terminal now there is no request the web server is running this my web server on our raspberry pi but there is no request been sent from the client so now our raspberry pi is a web server and let me open a web browser which will be the client and in the browser i will have to type the ip address of my raspberry pi so i can check the ip address from this bitwise client i can copy this uh, raspberry pi's uh, IP address and I will paste into my browser okay and then I will say colon in the browser then I will insert the port 80 okay and then I hit enter and you see now the request has been sent from the browser which is our client to our web server Raspberry Pi and you see we receive a HTTP request and it is 200 okay so this is http status code which says the request is um, received uh, from the client to the server and 200 okay means everything goes well right and you see there is another one favicon uh, 404 this error message it is because um, by default it looks for favicon icon you might have seen a lot of websites just next to the url that we request from the browser we have this icon always on our browser and because we don't have any of such an icon here in this case that's why it shows 404 but if i send a request once again to 80 okay to the same server and if i hit enter okay you can see now i have received 200 but i don't have this baby icon icon you can see i can ask a couple of times I can send a request and this time it will not come because that is that has to do with that icon but this is a simple website which only gives a uh, web server that only gives us a text so we don't have to do any basically we are not learning how to design a website right so don't worry about this favicon icon but whatever we want as a request from the client um, from the web browser to the raspberry pi is happening now in the next lesson we will going to modify this code so that when we send a request from the browser it will turn on the led connected to gpio 21 to raspberry pi 
okay and when we send another request to turn off the LED it will turn off the LED connected to Raspberry Pi okay I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining we'll see us into the next lesson